Well, that was a fail for the chariot shot. Hello guys and girls and welcome to the video. So, as you know, my name is Craig and I've rebranded the channel name. It's called PS3 Retro TV. So, we like to collect PlayStation 3 games around here. Got to start getting some PlayStation 1 at some point. We did pick up one in the past, but I sent it back. Uh, and I uh, like to go charity shop hunting, car boots, vintage, Facebook, all that kind of stuff. Uh, see what we can pick up to try and get my PlayStation 3 collection as cheap as possible. So I'll cut you a bit of footage now, just what well, the collection of the PlayStation 3 games I've got so far and then I'll cut you onto the game hunting footage and yeah, so enjoy right, guys, here is the collection so far of my free wee shelf I got for my son there's my PS3 box, my Breaking Bad some Commodore cassettes, Home Alone Queen, single Let Me Live but here's the games, Uncharted for no being collecting long I think I've done no bad Right, so, cut you at the charity sort footage now, and I'll see you back with what pickups we can add to this lovely collection. And we're back YouTube, so we're at charity shop hunting and uh, PS3 obviously. You find PS1 in there, there's a bonus, but PS3 is the way to be. So, in today's episode we picked up a box set and ooh, four, four PS3 games. So, first one as you've seen at the very start of the video. The box set was a fail, it was the uh, Sex in the City, the complete season. Now I paid £2 for this, it trades in for a pound. So, I'm not lost that much, eh? <laughs> but I might just give it away to my ex-partner, she likes it, so she can have it now. <laughs> so that was the first one, a wee bit of a fail, but... Yep. So, onto the charity shop. Oh, first, no, this is a, a, these are from a local charity shop, the Marie Curie, they charge £2 a game. Doesn't matter what game it is, it's £2, eh? So, there's games that's worth less than £2 normally, or £2. And, so, this game actually, it was two pound, obviously. I was just said the brain fart, but I think it only cost one fifty in CX. But for me to go to CX, it cost me bus fares, travelling, or a cycle up on the bike. So for fifty pence more, it's a lovely copy. It's from a local Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Complete. It's like it's never been played, to be honest with you. And yeah, not a big Assassin's Creed fan, to be honest. I think that's. That's the second one I've got now for the collection. I've got the original and a bundle a while back. So, yep, Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Never played this one. As I say, I'm not a big fan, but let us know what you think of this one below. Any good? £2, eh? 
think I might be their two pounds, I just all gonna go value. Next one, as I got another, this is another day game I got the second one in a bundle before. I've now got the third one. It's got my gift aid because it's for my local Marie Curie. Far Cry free, two pound. Again, when these were must have been handed into a charity shop. It must have been somebody's because I've been well looked after. Eh? I'll show you again. I think this is probably cheaper than CEX. I would need to look it up, but yep, for two pound and a five minute walk down to the town centre. Can't say no. So that was four pounds spent in my local charity shop. So we got these. Obviously they fail, eh? so on to the next one. This one, I thought this was actually fake when I seen it. Eh? I was like, I picked it up anyway. I didn't realise it was just an online game. It's probably servers are shot on the PlayStation 3, but it's Final Fantasy Re A Realm Reborn. I think it's 14. As you can see, this was a pound. I'm bored about these. Excellent condition, but see the PlayStation case at the top here. I don't know if you'll see it on camera very good. It's no PlayStation, it just says Blu ray. It's obviously been recased, and the inner doesn't seem to sit. It's flush. So, actually, just quick Google there that the servers are off for the quick PS3, but it's another Final Fantasy game to add to the collection. Probably never be worth money, but you never know. For a pound, never played that. Obviously, can I play it now? So, if any user played it, was it a good game? But it looks it. You had to buy a subscription. Oof, not into that, right? Pay for your Xbox Gold for that. And it should be you. PlayStation Network was free. It still is free on this console. That's why I love it so much. The next one, the last pick up of the day, British Art Foundation, this was 50 pence, still got a, a CEX sticker of £2.50 on it, and now CEX charge £5 for it, so 50 pence, it's a £5 game in CEX now, a rockstar game, very underrated I think, it's a uh, Max Payne 3, as you can see the sticker there, but there's the original 250. Complete again. Manual the wee rock star inlay. And yeah. Funny that case has not got PlayStation on it either at the top. That has got Blu ray disc, but it's there. Wait to check. No. Oh. I put that PlayStation on it. Some of them do. Once they've been recased, I'm just looking for an old game here. Oh, I've got one game here. If you look at the case, I haven't even put this on a video, but it's a cheap game. It's got PlayStation at the top here. It's only one that seems to have it, unless. If you let us know below about that, is all games got PlayStation in the cases? Because I've just got a load here and not one of them. But off on a wee tangent there, that was the last pick up of the day. Max Payne 3, 50 pence man, 50 pence. So guys, that's been the video for the day. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, yep. See you in the next episode of PS3 Retro TV. Yeah!